Ah, uh, here we are again, your fridge mentor, I'm Ted Kujamat Lim. Ted against Ray Lim. Yeah, so we are now here enjoying the free and rich or fridge lifestyle of an overseas Filipino dito sa Philippines, di ba Terence? Around 10 million Filipinos ay nasa ibang bansa seeking for a greener pasture. No? But the good thing about that is that for the year 2016, isipin mo, 25.6 billion ang pinadala nilang pera sa Pilipinas. Yeah, Grabe, laki na naitulong sa Pilipinas. But then, you know, this is the saddest uh, part of it. In spite of napakalaking billion sa pinapadala ng mga overseas Filipino sa Pilipinas, ayon sa Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas, only a portion of that money, di ba, ay napupunta sa tama. Dahil according to them, only 6% of the overseas Filipino put their money to investment. Doon kami papasok mag-asawa sa 6% na yon, how we can increase the percentage of overseas Filipino and contribute what we have done and share to all of you what we have done in our life as an OFW also, di ba? Kasi ngayon, we're able to come back home to the Philippines rich, free and rich, and never have to work abroad again. But then the challenge there is most of us overseas Filipino, when we go abroad, nakakalimutan natin ano pa talaga yung main reason bakit tayo pumunta na ibang bansa, di ba? Diba, sabi nga natin, stepping stone lang yan. Kailangan nyo make sure that after 10 years, pagbalik nyo, no? Kasama na kayo habang buhay. Yes, there is a problem is, time of the when we go abroad, we forget our dreams, we tend to live the lifestyle sa abroad. And then, alam ko naman, majority of you wants to go back home, di ba? But then, we have not enough money to spend our life back to the Philippines. We were not able to prepare our retirement. Yung, wala, yung ating sahod is just enough for a month lifestyle, di ba? We're, we're rich, no? We're rich when we're, when we're abroad. Pag may trabaho tayo, rich tayo. We can buy any, anything you want. You can send anything you want sa ano. Yung mga anak na nag-aaga sa mga ganang school. Pero ang tanong, pag nawala kayo ng trabaho, ano mangyayari? Yeah, and that's why napakadami sa mga kasama nating overseas Filipino ay inaabot ng 20 years, 30 years, parang pang 40 years eh, hindi yes, na makauwi. Hindi na makauwi. No, Therese? That's the reason why, di ba? Nag Sinulat natin yung libro tete. Yeah, that's the reason we uh, wrote this book. It's an open uh, story. story of our life, our journey as an OFW to becoming an OFW fridge millionaire. So it only means that kung nagawa na yung mag-asawa to come back to the Philippines at our early 40s, then we believe that there is a chance for all OFWs to be able to do what we did. And for this moment in our life, we wanted to give you a, a very uh, short uh, advice how to be rich as an OFW and come back home to the Philippines. Sige, Terence, Sige. what yung, is... Yung, ano, yung fridge limang principle yan, F-R-I-C-H, dun tayo sa R, ha? Why? Yung R kasi is R. rethink. No, rethink how you manage your money. Okay, so... But, Ano mo, pakisipan mo paano mo hinahawakan yung pera? Yeah, I think that's the main reason kung bakit only 6% lang ng mga overseas Filipino ang nag invest ng kanilang pera because they do, maybe they need to rethink the way they should handle or spend their money. Yes. So, Actually, paano ba? Paano ba dapat gawin? Ganito kasi yan, eh, no? Actually, nung, nung pinag-aralan ko siya, kasi nasa, nasa Milan na po, so sabi ko, ang sarap naman yung mga buhay ng mga mayayaman, di ba? Bili ng bili, no? Tapos sabi ko, bakit sila nang nakapagbili, di ba? Ano ba ang difference? Sabi ko, nung tinabdi ko na yung dalawa, ito napansin ko, yung mga poor people, bili sila ng bili. Ang problema, ang binibili nila ay mga liabilities. Yo. No, yo, eto, ano ba yung ano, mga liabilities? Yeah. Ito, ito, ano yung, ba yung mga liabilities? Ang liabilities, ito yung, ito yung packet mo, di ba? Dalawang packet ka. Yung liabilities, ito yung nagtatanggal ng pera sa bulsa mo. Anything that nagtatanggal ng pera sa bulsa mo. Okay. Di ba? Ang mga mayayaman, bili pa rin ng bili. But, Pero ang binibili nila, mga asset. Wow! So ano ano naman yung bili? asset? Yeah. Ang asset naman, ito yung nagbibigay ng pera sa bulsa Pakasok mo. Pakasok ng bulsa. So ito yung nagbibigay ng pera sa bulsa mo. Pag bibigay sa pera sa bulsa mo, tapos ang kasi nagumagastos. Yun ang difference. Yun yung difference. Ang mayayaman, they 
spent on asset ang mahihirap na spent on liability. So yung liability pag binili mo wala namang yung return. Yes. Sample Sa coach, eh, di ba? Isang coach, eh, bibili ka ng 2 Or, million. Yung mga branded na mga binibili natin, di ba? Yeah. Because we wanted to have a lifestyle na kagaya ng mga foreigners sa abroad. Or mga diba? vacation. Vacation na galing naman sa Kiske, sa card. Sa credit card. Of course, you can still have your, ano, vacation, your green diba? vacation. Diba? Sana, coming from passive income na pera. Yeah. Na, diba? so, next month, mayroon na naman. So, Terrence, uh, that is how you should rethink the way you handle your money. May tinatawag kami na Freedom Business Action Program. No? Dito, Ma maintindihan nyo paano ba kumita ng pera tapos paano nyo imamanage. Diba? Okay. Paano nyo imamanage yung pera nyo? Kasi may tinatawag kami na freedom fund. No, yung freedom fund kasi, Ted, ito yung pera na hindi mo dapat galawin. Galawin mo na ako, Ted. Huwag lang yung freedom fund ko. <laughs> no, galawin mo na lahat. Huwag lang yung freedom fund. Kasi yung freedom fund, ito yung pera na kailangan mo ilagay sa investment. Okay, yung so investment to, yes. So I think uh, yun ang ginawa natin for the past many years is one of the secrets that we made and I want you to learn many of the secrets of OFW Rich Millionaire. So Terrence, why don't you invite them? Yes, we would like to invite you to our BMAP, no? Balik Mayaman Action Program. Yeah. No? Ito yung free seminar na ginagawa namin sa buong mundo na libre to. No? It's just uh, uh, an hour or 45 minutes of your time and this will change your lives. And of course, don't forget to grab our book which this is our one way of paying forward di po ba? Uh, to all the overseas Filipinos that if we did it, you can do it too. Maraming salamat! Yay! Have a good life! See you in the Philippines!